It's over there. You gotta go get it. It's behind you. Yeah. <laughs> cooler today it's finally winter in south florida so it's like 70 out so don't think he'll come out seven he'll come out yeah i don't think he will just because it's cooler out today you made me go in there with you yeah all right you gotta let me in you gotta let me in don't try to bite me Seven. There we go. Good boy. Mm. All right. Look at that big old tongue in there. Ah, oh, close it down. It looks so cool. You move his tongue. Seven. Oh, it slips. I'm sorry. It's over there. It's over there. You gotta go get it. It's behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Slipped out of my hand. Here, get you another one. Seven. Seven. Can I feel all the drops. Seven. Seven. Good. He's checking his little boundaries today. He's creeping up a little close to me today, thinking about it. Seven. Even though when he's real close like that and he's moving really slow and gentle, it's really easy to be like, nah, he's not gonna do anything, right? You gotta remember how quick he is. So if you throw anything next to him like that or he thinks there's food next to him like that, he's very quick to decide. So although I'm very calm around him, you know, and he gets really close to me like that, I'm always watching him and trying to pay attention to that behavior and make sure he's not gonna try something like that. Seven. You done? Seven. just lost that one right there and then those are the two that he lost recently we did in the video open right there so he's growing those ones back pretty nice too it's like all of his teeth hit an expiration date seven seven so he's got all the chicken in his in his throat right now that's why he hasn't swallowed that piece yet so it's gonna take him a second to like kind of work it down, probably drink a little bit of water, get the chicken down. It's only got like a few more pieces left anyways. You got that piece in there? Yep. Seven. 
So you'll notice he'll lift his head when he goes to swallow, and that's so that when he goes to swallow the food, a lot of water doesn't rush down with it. Now they do prefer to swallow their food in the water to wash it down with the water, but they don't want all the water going in. Because when you look at their mouth, they don't exactly have lips to be able to seal the mouth off. So they don't usually swallow anything underwater. They come up to the surface, lift the head, and swallow it down like that. Give you oh, you missed that one. <laughs> Getting lazy. Seven. Seven. Good piece. Seven. You're still getting that one down. Yeah, I still get that one down. All right, last one. Seven. Are you done? He might be done. Now on that note, I can tell that he might be full. I say it like that because I have literally watched alligators on multiple occasions just continue to eat till they throw it up and then they eat all the throw up again. So that's why I like when I can tell I'm like, yeah, he's gonna hit that point where I won't give him any more. Um, just because they don't really have an off, you know, like, uh, that's one of the most common things that people think when they see my interactions with them. They're like, oh, well, you must have just fed him. You must be full. That's why he's not biting you. It's like, no, that's not how it works. Even if he's full, he'll still eat and then just throw it up, you know? I mean, they don't really have, like, a, a satiation point in that way. He slows down, but, uh, he's never just, like, turns off on that, you know, because I, it's really gross. You just see them just keep on eating. They just bleh, it all up and then they just eat it again. And then the other ones come in and eat that too. It's like, oh, that's great. Beautiful smell, by the way. <laughs> but I think he's good. So we'll go and give this piece to another alligator we have. And uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Been a very good boy. He's like, don't touch me, you filthy human. And I'll just swim off.